After the loss of my hardcore Iron Man status, a new adventure is born. Carrying on from where I left off, without the fear of death looming overhead, there's no holding back. This is Dead Smithy, and welcome to my Iron Man progression series. Hello everyone, my name is Smithy, and welcome back to the Iron Man progression series. Uh, so this episode, we're going to be continuing on the Song of the Elves grind. We're going to be doing Morning's End Part 2, which, uh, from what I've been told, isn't the best quest. So uh, we're going to be going through that this uh, this week. Uh, I'm also doing some woodcutting at the moment because it's one of the one of the ones that we're getting very close to um, our next 99 on. Um, we're really we're getting really close to 94. Um, a couple more hours, and I should have 94. Uh, but I'm decided to do teaks. I know I was doing the um, the Sully cups or whatever they're called the mushroom tree things um they're good xp but they're not very afk because uh, i'm working on the uh, group iron man account as well while uh while while doing some chopping uh which is rather nice you know being efficient for once uh, so we're going to be doing uh doing a little bit of wood cutting now and uh also some questing because uh, we're getting very close to a quest cape um which i never thought i'd say because if you know me, if you've been following the series a while, you know I really don't like questing. <laughs> but uh, Necessary Evil, we've been getting a lot done recently, so uh, why not keep up that motion um, and uh, progress towards Song of the Elves, because that is the next big goal. Want to get doing some Gauntlet, want to get doing some Zolcano, so uh, we've got we've got to get, get the work done to get there. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the episode. But just before we get into the gaming, if you are new around here and you haven't done so already, please do consider subscribing because only about 40 to 50% of the people actually watching this have hit that red button. Uh, and it means to get notified of when my videos go live and uh, you can keep up to date with the series and all the other shenanigans that are going on on the channel. But uh, yeah, thank you all for the continued support and let's get on with it. Okay, right. Two more logs. One more log. And there we go, there is 94 far uh, farming, woodcutting coming in. Jack. Wrong skill, Smithy. 94 woodcutting coming in. That is a uh, level that has been a long time in the making, and it is so good to see it finally coming in. But um, yeah, what's that? Five more levels to go until there's another 99 there. We're looking really good now on how how many 90 stats we've got. There's a few that are, you know, in the 70s, and don't, we're not, we're not going to talk about runecrafting, but... A lot of them are coming on really nice, which uh, we do love to see. But um, nearly 1950 as well, total, which is uh, pretty lit. But from all that woodcutting, we have got some clues that I'm going to go and do. And uh, we're going to take a break from the teaks now. Right, I've got a wilderness step on my hard uh, hard clue. So I'm going to open up my easy and mediums because I haven't got anywhere to put them in my bank. So easy. Oh, hello. Still full helm tea. Go on. Could use that on the group Iron Man, that one. Purple Sweets, not bad, not bad. That looks really nice, that. Big fan, big fan. And then the medium. Load of crap. But uh, no, that um, that's still Full Helm. The T, not too shabby. All right, bit of a pain. Uh, this hard clue that we've got, uh, we need Lamort, which uh, is the Death, um, Death Altars soundtrack. But uh, that's unlocked through Morning Zen Part 2, which is what we're going to be doing this episode. So I'm going to put this in the bank for now uh, until we go and do the quest. And um, yeah, once, once we're doing that, we'll, we'll get the get the next step done. We are on oh, no, check steps. We've done quite a few. I think this is the last one. Three steps. Is it six steps that hard clues can be? Something like that. Whatever. Uh, we've done enough steps for me to warrant keeping it. So... Yeah, that's what we're doing. Right, I thought we should do some uh, get a few chill barrows just to see if we can maybe get ourselves a Marium's top. Or not. <laughs> Tell you what, I really like how Barrows looks in HD. I know I've kind of been flicking in between um, HD and Normal D because I've recorded my group Iron Man stuff in HD and I just forget to turn it off. Um, but I really like how Barrows looks in HD. But anyway, besides the point, anything? Nah, of course not. <laughs> Um, just to check in, that is 836. Right, any uniques, barrows, or just anything at all? Ooh, elite clue. Let's see if we can do it. Can we? We can do that. All right, I think we went max st uh, steps on this, but we've got the elite casket. Let's crack it open and see if it was worth it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> right, come on, Barrows. Hook us up, mate. Come on. Ooh, there's a Carol's Coif. I mean, we've got 
a lot of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's nice to see them. An item, isn't it? Uh, where's the collection log? There we go. Right. How many of them we got? For those who are new to the series and haven't, I've gone straight past it. There we go. That is our third Carol's Coif. And we don't even use the ones we have. So that is going to collect dust. But um, we go again. Right, can we get the back-to-back? -back? That is the question on everyone's mind. It's not, but can we? No. No, we can't. Right, Barrow's going to be kind. It's an elite clue. Right, these are flying in now. We've got another elite casket. Let's crack it open. Armadillo page, a master clue. Uh, not the best, but that master clue... Let's see if we can do it. All right, it's a double whammy. The uh, the first step of this master cast, uh, master scroll, was to um, come down here in a full barrow set and nothing else. Oh, I need the ah, I'm an idiot. Okay, right now we do this. Yeah. Right, let me defeat Yuri and then we'll see what's in the chest. All right, I don't even know what this clue is, but let's see what's in the chest, shall we? Ooh, Carol's leather skirt. That's like our fifth one. <laughs> ah, no, that was just our second. It was the, uh, that would have been our fourth top if it was, but it's skirt. It was a leather skirt. Uh, this is like my third one of these bloody cryptic clues. Uh, why are masters so, yeah. This better be worth it. If we get nothing, I'm going to be mad. All right, so looking at this, uh, the, uh, where are we? The speak to Thorgal, Thorgel, whatever it is, at the entrance to the Death Altar. Uh, we need to do Morning's End Part 2 for that. So not only do we have this hard clue that we need to do, we also have this one, which requires Morning's End Part 2. It's all a sign. It's all a sign to go and get it done. So uh, I think that's what we got to do. Whoa, everyone's been bloody murdered. That doesn't look good. Why is... What? <laughs> <laughs> Go towards all the dead bodies. Yes, good idea. Oh god, I'm getting attacked by some fucking random things now. Jeez, whose idea was it to do this quest? Hey, eh? whose idea was it? Okay, search the crystal. Oh, I've got to use the. I've got to use the chisel on it. Huh? Idiot. Idiot. There we go. We've got whatever that does. Cool. <laughs> All I'm going to say is thank God for these bloody plugins like Quest Helper because I would not have a bloody clue what I'm doing like, at all. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the uh, Quest Helper. Right, if we put this big, it looks like one of those toilet cakes, you know, what you get in your rhinos. That's what that looked like. Right, apparently that's now... It's made it piss yellow, which is quite fitting. Oh, man, we're getting absolutely fucking... Can these things piss off, please? Um, all right, what one am I going now? I don't know if I fouled or not. Oh, I did. Oh, shit it. This is why you do agility. I mean, I've got 75. You'd think that'd be enough, wouldn't you? I fell off again! No, you lot leave me alone. He's bloody done it! He's passing through the light door. He's robbing the chest. He's getting whatever the hell's in it. I don't know what's in it. Anything fun? More bloody hand mirrors. <laughs> Will this ever end? Who knows? Who knows? All right, let's put the cyan crystal in here. There's really something in this pillar. Well, get it out. How do I remove mirror? There we go. Fuck off. Get out. Hold on. Where's where's me where's me urinal cake? Have I got to take it out? Oh, I've got to take it out the ones that I've used before. You having a laugh? Right, I guessed, and it was in this one. All right, I've got me pissy cake. All right, this should be puzzle two done, maybe. Yes. All right, let's. What's in here? What's in here? There's more bloody mirrors. I don't like to complain, but these ghost things are really doing my fucking nutting. <laughs> Stop hitting me, mate. Stop it. Right, this should be puzzle three done. Oh, and of course, there's another one. Fucking die, you! You're a shadow. How can you hurt me? Oh, look, we got another. We got another piss cube. Yay! Okay, um, I fucking hate this quest. <laughs> uh, I, I had to tell you out, get food and prayer pots and stuff because these fucking shadows keep attacking me. Um, like I've had to reset this thing four times, no, three times now. I just don't. It tell like I'm putting everything in right. I'm putting everything in all the dispensers and shit. And then it's like, go in the blue room. And to get in the blue room, it needs light pointed on it. But there's no light pointed on it, so I can't get in the blue room. And now I'm like, well, how the fuck do I... What is this shit? 
Who who came up with this quest? Who, who did it? Hey, come on, own up. Okay, I think this might be the last bit of the puzzles. Can I go through there now? Search the chest. All right, let's have a look. Is this the death? Oh, it's more mirrors. It's more mirrors. It's telling me to reset it all. Am I meant to? Pull lever, pull it. All right, I'm believing in you, quest helper. I'm believing in you. Oh, is this it? Is this it? We haven't gone down to this level before. All right, now what? Is is that the altar? <gasps> That's a mysterious looking rune there, my friend. That is a mysterious looking rune. We've done it. All right, so I've got to get a death talisman either by getting 50 things for him or killing a dark beast. I am confusion. All right, so I need 90 slayer for a killing a dark beast, and I've only got 80, <laughs> 89. I mean, I could boost. I don't, I don't even know if I have anything to boost with at the moment, so I think... I'm just going to go with this list. So there's 50 things in here. He wants, an, he wants a what? Crumbling tome. What the hell is that? All right, a lot of this is pretty easy. The fuck is a crumbling tome? All right, the first delivery of crap that was in my bank account. <laughs> um, why does this bloke want all this shit? Just, just, just fix it, you know? What are you going to do? Plug it with a lockpick and a potato cactus or something? Crikey. Okay, hello, Thorgal. I have some of the items for you. Yeah, sure, have them. You've just emptied half of my bank, mate. Thank you. Okay, this should hopefully be the last of it. Um, yeah, add the items, mate. Yeah, sure. All right, enter the death altar. Oh, we've got it. Okay, cool. All right, let's go in and use the newly made crystal. Good job I didn't drop that. <laughs> There we go. Uh, leave the death altar and you can go use the charged crystal. All right, cool. Um, is that it? Is, is that it done? Leave death altar and go use the use the dark charged crystal on the dark. This thing's going to bloody hit me now. Right, so I should be able to use this on this thing. There we go. And if we use this. Boom. And speak to... They're over here. Cool. Right. Let's speak to them. Click them. Spam through all of this shit. Yep, 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 yep. Cool, cool. Yep, 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 yep. Cool, yep. There we go. There is Morning Zen Part 2 completed. Two quest points. Access to the Death Altar. And 20,000. Thousand agility XP. Does that give us a level? I don't think it does. But there we go. There is Morning Zen Part 2 completed. It means we can now finish off both of those clues that we currently have, or at least the steps. And that is the last requirement for... Where is it? Song of the Elves. Very nice. All right, so for this clue step, I need to uh, wear a white plate body and white plate legs. To get the white plate body, I need to kill... I think it's... Um... I'm a novice at the moment, which means I get the chain body. I need to kill 700 black knights. What? <laughs> Since was that a thing? Uh, yeah, so I need to go and, I guess, go and get the adept level. I don't know whether I can really be asked, but uh, we might as well. I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> Kidding. No, we'll, 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 go and, we'll go and see how many we can kill in a couple of hours and, uh, yeah. I'll report back in. Right, I've got the chaos, chaos element on my back, so I'm going to uh, crack open this hard casket. Anything? Ancient page one, alcohols. Wasn't worth the trip, really. All right, so I can check how many uh, KC I've got by going on the uh, quest, quest log and clicking wanted, which is where you uh, start tracking how many you've killed. Uh, so we've done 110. Um, was it 800? Yeah, 800 that I need to do. 690 to go. All right, we're on the home stretch. Less than 100 to go. Let's go. It's only taken me like three hours, but hey, hey ho. <laughs> we move. Okay, and that is the last Black Knight, I think. Um, where are we? Where's Wanted? Where are you? Uh, wanted. There we go. 800. I'm going to kill one more just in case it goes, oh, you've got to kill over 800. But um, we can now go and get the uh, white plate body, which means we can do this clue step. Yes.
Okay, and that is the casket as well. I've bought a few more bits uh, so I can store them all in my player owned house because if you know, one of my goals is to fill all of the storage units within the player owned house at some point. So might as well check a few bits off by uh, buying them while we're here. But anyway, Master Clue, I think this is our second ever one. Let's crack it open. Are you having a laugh? Don't tell me that's a... It's a fucking palm tree. They haunt me. They haunt me everywhere I go. Bloody palm tree seeds. Zolra just cursed everything. That. <laughs> 45 wines of Zamrat, though. That's, that's good, because I do need those, but... Oh, man. <laughs> what a letdown. And there is the white armour checked off the list of stuff stored within the armour case. Um... Yeah, I can bin off this chain body because it doesn't go in there, but uh, that's nice to see. It's starting to fill up. I can get these tier 1, 2, and 3s at some point, but I really can't be arsed at the, mo <laughs> at, the, at the moment. I've got the torso, but, you know, it's kind of useful, and the legs there, useful again. But, um, yeah, no, we're, look we're looking good. I'm not going to open up all the other ones because oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. What we got in here? Oh god, it's a bit more empty, isn't it? <laughs> All right, lads. Just uh, just found out something from Twitter. So Mod Skylark put out a uh, tweet about the um, the Halloween event, right? About the woolly jumpers that you get from it. So I asked, oh, can you use them at Winter Todd as a piece of warm clothing? And you can. So if you're in two minds about doing the Halloween event uh, because you think it's a waste of time, but if you're on the on your group Iron Man or an early level Iron Man or whatever, and you need some warm clothing. Go and get the Halloween event done, and you've got a you've got a, a free piece of warm clothing. So that's pretty lit. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd put it in here because I can't really. Oh, we've got a big boy. I can't really put in my uh my my guide now for uh, for the Halloween event because it's already <laughs> edited and uploaded. So I'll put it in here. All right, we're doing some Slayer and one more hit. Go on, finish it off. There it is, 98 hit points and 1950 total level. Very nice. We're one level away from our next 99. Uh, we're putting some time into Slayer. We're getting very close to 90 Slayer, which means we can start killing Dark Beasts. But um, that is a massive level on the account. 98 hit points. Dare I say. Gaming. All right, it's that time again. Hard casket. Anything? Oh, wow. <laughs> They just keep getting worse. Oh, steady on 30 Renals. Oh, go on then. Oh, we got a Black Dragon's task. I think that means we're going to do some KBD. Right, KBD heads. Oh, task completed. Claw Clipper, whatever that's for. Amulet of Power. Cool. <laughs> and then the usual. Eh, not bad. Oh, Dragon Dart Tips. It's not a bad drop, is it? Right, how's our beginner clue luck today? Still shit. Okay, and that is going to do it for this week's episode. I hope you guys have all enjoyed. Just to quickly go through our stats, we're at one level in um, hit points up to 98. One more to go, and then we've got our next 99. We're also up one level in woodcutting as well, up to 94. So we've got some big levels in this week, which uh, we love to see. We love to see. But the main thing is, is that we've got um, Morning Zen Part 2 completed, which means that we can now go and do... Song of the Elves, which is what we're going to be doing next episode. That's the plan. We're going to get it done. We're going to take on the big spooky boss. Um, it wouldn't be better if it fell this week because it is Halloween today. So happy Halloween. If you are watching on Halloween, I hope you uh, you had a good time. You stayed safe. And uh, also, let me know what you dressed up as for Halloween. I dressed up as Donnie Darko in uh, his Halloween outfit in that. Similar to what I'm wearing now, actually, in game. Uh, if you want to see that, check out my Instagram or my Twitter. I've put some pictures on there if you want to go and check that out. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you have, hit the like button. If you are new around here, please do consider subscribing because it lets you know of when uh, my new videos go up and it also helps support smaller channels like myself. Uh, also, the comment for this week. This week? Yeah, the comment for this episode is Happy Halloween. I want to see. Or Halloween Egg. Halloween egg. Put that in the uh, put that in the comments. Uh, and as always, a massive thank you to the um, channel members of Damo, Will, Steve, and Super Beef. If you are interested in looking into the uh, membership program, there's a few perks that you get, and everyone over a two, uh, everyone over a tier one gets a shout out at the end of the video. Um, there's a join button just below the uh, 
below the video that you can you can click in. It'll give you some more details. Um, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna let you guys go. And um, yeah, take it easy. Bye.